The Union Road Wine Trail. How do you find it? Well, let me tell you where it is. Now, most all the wineries are on the Union Road. However, there's a few down side streets off the Union Road. If you are on the Interstate 5 and you are headed into Paso Robles, you would get on the 46 going westbound. On the 46, just outside of Paso Robles, you'll see to the left a big yellow house. That's the Tobin James Cellars. You would make a left right there, and that's where Union Road starts. There you'll be able to start your wine tasting and tour of the Union Road. And just up the street, just a little bit, you'll find the Rockin' R Winery. Coming in off the 101, you'll see signs that say 24th Street Exit, Lake Nacimento, or to 46. That's where you'll be getting off. And you're going to be going eastbound there till you come up to a street called Golden Hills Road. You will be making a right turn on Golden Hills Road. And go up till you see a nursery on your right. And there you'll see a stop sign. You'll be making a left. That is Union Road. Follow the road just a half a block and make the first left. Go all the way down the road and at the end that's where you'll find the Brochelle Vineyards and the Hug Cellars. Continuing eastbound down the road, you'll come to a little bend in the road. There you'll veer to the right and then you'll see a park on your right hand side. Now this is a nice place you could stop and stretch your legs if you're a little tired or just enjoy nature. Continue on Union Road, and that's where you'll be able to enjoy a whole day of looking around at all the different wineries and enjoying nature, being a part of the environment, and meeting some very friendly people that run these wineries and different vineyards. Some of these are the most knowledgeable people that I've met so far in the wine industry in the Paso Robles area. Here is a little bit more about the Union Road from two people that are winery and vineyard owners in the area. So one of the really fun things about our location, we're on this historic Union Road wine trail. Uh, it's really, Paso Robles has come into its own over the last decade or two. In the last 10 years especially, we've gotten worldwide recognition. We have uh, lots of wines that have scored 95 points or higher. We actually got uh, one of the wineries in the local area got a perfect score the Wine Spectator and Robert Parker. Uh, so Paso Robles has now gained worldwide recognition as a high quality wine producing region. Over here on the east side we have this Union Road wine trail with 15 boutique wineries along it. So in just seven miles of road you can see 15 different wineries, taste all those different styles of winemaking. And the nice thing is you'll probably meet the owner and or winemaker at every one of those 15 little wineries. So I'm excited to be part of that Union Road Wine Trail and uh, hopefully you're going to get to meet a lot of the other wineries along the Union Road Wine Trail. That's one of the things we're doing with these videos is trying to give everybody a little taste of what they're going to be able to experience when they stop in at each of these wineries. This Union Road Wine Trail has a tremendous history along with it. Uh, my family story goes that that American flag you see in the distance is the site of the B-26 crash that happened April 11th, 1956. My grandparents watched that plane hit the ground and explode. And as you might imagine, townspeople came out and looked at that wreckage. And as they looked at that wreckage, they'd pull off the side of the very narrow road and they'd get stuck in the mud. So my dad's job as a teenager was to pull those townsfolks out of the mud after they were finished looking at that crash site. This Union Road had been the historic Highway 41 that connected the coast to the Fresno Bakersfield area. This road was literally built two Model A cars widths wide is all. And even in that day, my grandfather was wondering why they built the road so wide. So this road has many beautiful winding curves. Dad tells the story of trucks crashing on the curve that's just about a half a mile to the west of Steinbeck, where they would go too fast around the corner and the pigs or the cattle would shift or the hay would shift and the truck would crash and dump the load and they had wild pigs, cattle, they had hay all the time on that curve that's Maloy O'Neill as well as Steinbeck. 
Thank you for watching our video about how to find the Union Road Wine Trail. We produce movies that feature these wineries and vineyards and showcase what it is they do best and what they specialize in so that you could get a good idea of what it's all about before you visit them and which wineries and vineyards you'd like to visit the most.